today's video, guys, I prepared another FPS boost pack for low and PC players here in Chapter 3 Season 4 for you guys. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, guys. This would help me out so much. If at any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So, guys, and the Fortnite FPS boost pack for low and PCs, which I prepared for you in today's video, is insanely strong, guys. I'm literally going to cover everything since so many people have asked me, yo, Michael, what is going on there in Season 4? Can I do something? Well, guys, this is basically everything you need on your PC. And it's going to be available here on my link for Ties link, guys. It's super easy. This is basically just like a platform where you can put it, where you have to maybe watch like a few ads, and then I get a small share of that to support the channel. And you're gonna click here onto access for free. Then you have here, first of all, some ads, you know, which you can just simply close here. Just gonna wait like one or two seconds, and it's already closed. And then you have something here, you know, like a small like task which you have to fulfill, and afterwards you can continue. So, and after you're done with that, guys, you're just simply going to click continue to FPS boost pack. Then you get redirected here to this new site where you can click now to download. There you go now, guys. Just simply drag it onto your desktop, guys. Once we're on here, we're going to launch this. And once we're in here, guys, we have now welcome to Fortnite FPS boost pack next. Then you're going to get to decline this, decline this, and then you already have the Google Drive link. It's super easy, just like that, guys. And the only thing which you got to do is these steps. Then you can download it straight up from here. And once we get it on our PC, we're going to right click onto it and extract it all onto our desktop. And in the first place, what are we going to do, guys, is launch the ultimate Windows Tweaker 4.8, guys. Yeah, this is super important. Click onto yes. And then we first of all have here our system specs. But what we want to do is go over to performance. And there you can already see here are some settings already enabled or better said disabled. And I would definitely leave them like that, guys. We can also go here onto disable prefetch services, Windows Security Center, disable tablet input, disable Windows Time Services, printer, and Microsoft Edge preloading. Those are the ones which I would disable 100%. We're going to click onto apply tweaks. And once you're done with that, we're gonna go over now to security and privacy. And what you basically wanna do on privacy is make sure that all of these here are checked guys because these are all just sending data to microsoft which you 100 percent don't want and it's just costing you important pc performance the next step under security settings guys you definitely want to turn off user tracking and then we also have something like disable onedrive the mobility center and disable display personalization once we're done with that we're also going to click here again onto apply tweaks and then we're already done here with the ultimate Windows Tweaker. We're going to move on to Windows Useless Program Disable. And there you can already see we have an additional low latency mode, Windows 10, Advanced Explorer settings, automatic app launches and updates. Then we have something like Disable the Telemetry, Unnecessary Services, Hide Cortana, Hide OneDrive. So basically everything on your PC, which you don't need 100%, gets disabled. By the way, guys, this works as well for Windows 11. I know it says Windows 10, but from the core, they're both basically the same when it comes down to like coding. So therefore, guys, don't be worried there. Just simply make sure to disable all of these here. Then we're gonna go over to registry. And there we have now add maximum processor frequency, CPU speed, graphic speed, memory speed, network speed, and RAM speed. And what are you going to do is enable each and every single one of these here, one by one, guys. Just simply click onto yes, onto registry, and it's already added. And now we gotta have a huge FPS improvement already on our PC. And with that said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would have made so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.